Welcome to Feature Friday. This is the series where we like to show you how to use some of the coolest features inside of Ecamm Live. I am your community manager, Doc Rock, and today I'm going to show you how to do something that might help you if you have somewhat of a more complicated setup or you just want to streamline your setup for various shows, presentations, or recordings. I'm going to show you how to make some adjustments to your camera switcher so you can pare it down to the cameras that you need for that particular task. This actually caught me off guard a couple of days ago as I couldn't find one of my NDI sources, but I knew the connection was good. I knew everything was right, but for some reason it wasn't showing up in Ecamm. It turns out I had accidentally turned off one of my cameras in the camera switcher and it was driving me crazy trying to figure it out. After a quick conversation with Glenn, we were able to suss out that, hey, guess what, Doc? You turned off the source. And I was like, oh. So I'm going to show you how to do this just in case you have a source that comes up missing or you purposefully want to hide a source in order not to have it accidentally come up in one of your productions. Let's jump on over into demo mode. Here we are in demo mode. And as you can notice by the selector right here across the top, I have all of these cameras available to me. If I were to press two on my keyboard, it would bring up my second camera. Three would show you Chrome, which is coming in as an NDI source on this same machine. This camera source is actually my Mac mini, which I am also showing you Chrome. If I were to come over to the next, you would see my ZV-1, my ZV-1, hi mom, Mama. is also connected to this computer by the USB cable. And if I were to keep going, you would see various versions of guests that I would have on the show. Let's say I'm doing something super secret on the Mac mini and I wanna make sure you don't see it. Let's also say I didn't clean my room and I don't want you to see all the stuff behind me from this camera angle. By simply going up and making a change in my camera selector, I can make sure that these don't accidentally show up in any of my shows or productions. Let's go back into demo mode. Here we are in the camera list. And if you click on this, you'll see the list of all the cameras available and their subsequent number keys that you can use as shortcuts. At the very bottom, you'll see where it says include and switcher. Let's go ahead and take out reincubate camo. That's when I want to use my iPhone connected to a different source. I'll take that out. I'll come back up into this camera menu and I'll scroll down to the bottom and let's take out the ZV-1 because it didn't clean my room. Let's come back over here into this source area into switcher and let's pull out the Mac mini. The last one I want to pull out because there's nothing connected is the other blank NDI source. So now if I look at my switcher, I only have camera one, my overhead shot, the Chrome source, and any subsequent guests that I might have. Once again, you'll see my master camera, my overhead shot, my NDI source, and my other camera. By making that small change, it can stop you from accidentally selecting the wrong camera or showing an angle that you don't want to show in your production. The reverse side of this is if you happen to plug in a source and you know that source is working, but it's not showing up for you, don't forget to go back in the camera selector, check all the way down at the bottom and make sure you have that option turned on. This can save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, and well, you won't have to call Glenn and embarrass yourself to the support team. <laughs> it's not that we don't love your support questions, but trust me, that was quite embarrassing when he said to me, hey doc, you turned it off. And I was like, uh, okay, bye Glenn, I gotta go. <laughs> That has been another Feature Friday. I hope this tip helps you out. Of course, if you have any Feature Friday ideas that you would like to see us cover, please send us an email at marketing at ecamm.com. Of course, if you ever need support yourself, you can check out support desk at ecamm.com because we're always here to make sure that your ecamm experience is the absolute bomb. I'm Doc Rock, your community manager, and now, we're going to show you two more videos that you might want to see. So please watch the video that comes up on screen next.